scared people trying to help their friend get out of depression. Depression sucks. It really sucks. Like really, really, really sucks. It's like your mind is telling you you have to do something to get out of this funk, but your body is telling you, "I'll do it some other time." And when you actually get your body to do something, your mind is absolutely miserable. It's a cycle, man. So while I'm no expert at treating depression, I have one piece of advice that can help you and your friend. Don't ever say the following to your friend with depression. There are people who have it worse than you. Just don't ever. This is the most counterproductive thing you can say. Unless your friend is a child, then I guarantee you they are very well aware that there are people who have it worse. Second, it makes them feel worse because they know this. And finally, it doesn't address the issue of what's making your friend depressed. It's like being a fox pundit telling protesters that are protesting the issue of police brutality against black communities shouldn't be protesting because there are more black on black crimes and they should focus more on that. Now, whether that's true or not, it doesn't address the issue of police corruption and brutality. It's counterproductive. It deflects from the issue at hand, and you look like a coward for not wanting to address it. But Gabby, you say, I really want to help my friend, but I don't want to get depressed myself in the process. I unfortunately do not have the answer for that. Each person's depression is unique, but I can tell you the main two causes of depression. I mean, there's other things that can cause depression, but let's focus on the two: poor quality of life and low endorphin production. Figure a way to elevate those, and that should help. Now go help your friend, or hire someone else to do it. It still counts as help. Warmest regards, Gabby.